Hi, this is a video how to make a clickable link um, to actually make uh, Facebook adverts so go through to your website or uh, rather than do it off on Facebook you take it off Facebook so you've got them on the mailing list um, now there's a few bits I'll show you how it's I'll, I'll show you what I've done first um, so basic advert what I've done what I want to do is capture the details I don't want them inboxing me back and forwards on Facebook I want them captured actually on on the website so how you do it is through a WordPress blog which I'll show you how to do and it's also all about getting the picture at the right size to make it actually work um, so this is what it looks like obviously pictures have a big impact click the picture it could be done better than this this is what I've just put together as the first go I've also got my website on here as well um, so if they want to just type in the website then go directly to the website uh, but this is the trick of how to do it <coughs> so what I'm going to do is click it because that's what people like to do on Facebook and then what it redirects you to is the blog now I haven't got this laid out perfectly yet but you can grasp where I'm coming from so they've clicked on there and they're now on your blog so it's off Facebook to you and they're wanting free information where you've got one of the widgets on this side um, which you, ha you can move them about whatever you want to do whether you want to promote a Facebook or whatever it is um, LinkedIn or Google Plus where you have them to join what you can do is change one of them buttons so it's actually the form that actually fills in your website so anybody clicks on here then all they've got to do is to click there and there you are the court the, the fill the details in and then they'll be in your contact uh, autoresponder whichever one you use uh, I'm using get response uh, below this video will be the link to get response if you want to use that one there's loads of other ones this is this is uh, they all work they all do the same thing but uh, I think get response has got a free version so if you've never tried it before just go below click below the video and uh, try that so that's how you do it so let's go and see how you actually do it uh, first of all uh, you've got to go back to your post that you're going to put up in your blog so the, the trick if it is to get a picture to the right size so what you've got to do is to go to a program called iPicky start editing it's a free program it doesn't cost anything and then what you do is, is um, upload pictures I'll just upload the one that I've already done so you can see it so whatever picture you've actually picked and this is a trick is once you've decided what you want you've got to resize it and this is the size it's got to be it's got to be 484 width by 252 height now we alter that by taking these off and then just changing these to different sizes so to show you how to do that so that goes to 85 but we'll take it back to 84 because that's what we want so that's the size this is where you also do all your editing for putting your arrows on or change adding, adding pictures etc it's all done through here uh, by different things so I'll just apply that I'll just show you how I'm not going to change any but I'll show you so how the other things to do if you click on here that button there that and then there that changes the text so you can put new text on there uh, if you t click on that one there that's where the arrows are we can move the arrows etc um, so that's how it's all done and then when you've finished you basically go here and then you combine them and then you save them to your desktop so then you go back uh, to uh, where's WordPress gone cancel that go back to WordPress and I'll, I'll just delete this one and do it again to show you exactly how to do it um, edit this entry I've just gone back to there uh, delete the picture so what I what I've put as a headline is click for free information I'll show you what to do in a second on that um, so you add a media file that's one I've already done insert that Updating that. 
view post and that's what the post is now this is what you do I'll go back again to Facebook somebody's just watch what I'll do I'll kick that off a second <laughs> some people are so sharp do you only do something for a second and they watch what you're up to right uh, Where did I put it again? I don't remember. Yeah, it's not at the top. So what what I'll do, I'll do another post. So you, you just put it on there. It automatically comes up to that size, big picture. And then you can put your little advert above there. What's it here? get the spelling mistakes out of there so want to earn an extra 500 2000 click the picture and fill in the form and get 3dv or copy the name on the website look look, look forward website come on there look forward to helping you um, so they can either type that in themselves or they can well you see what happened now I'll post that to Facebook there it is especially if you're putting it in Facebook groups I would normally not put it on my own page best to put it in Facebook groups where you get lots of response um, so what you do then people would go to that say click the picture click the picture that takes you off Facebook onto your blog you then f can actually go across there uh, where the arrows are pointing for free information and there it's done so remember below the video actually is a uh, link to the get response contact manager uh, if you want to have a free go free free trial of that also below that's my facebook page uh buying and selling groups which i've set up which anybody can join you can sell stuff on there so if you enjoyed this tip please share it and like the video and leave your comments